one for you today fam all right today now listen fam i got so i'm gonna show you the best way that i think the best way to grill chicken thighs yes sir i got a nice little season here for you and i got them to break out those no coals those uh kings fruit. i got one for you i got 10 pounds of chicken thighs they're all thighs it's going down today fam i got i got one for you yes sir i'm gonna show you a good the best way I think to grill chicken thighs. So without further ado, hold on tight. I'll be right back. Okay, fam. So now before we put the mustard on the chicken, okay, before we uh, marinate it, we're gonna go ahead and make our own, you know, seasoning that go on to the chicken thighs. I'm telling you, these are gonna be the best grilled chicken thighs. I'm telling you. This one, the follow, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cook it on the grill. This is gonna be cooked a little different because they're all thighs. You'll see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cook the skin side down. Like I said, I'm gonna cook the skin side down first, a little off the um, direct heat for like 20, 25 minutes. And then I'm gonna slide them over until the direct heat. Yes, sir, for another like 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, let that brown get a little dark. And then I'm gonna flip it over on the bone side down with the uh, skin up, okay, on the direct heat for another 10 to 15 minutes, okay? And then we're gonna move them to the side of the grill so they can cool a little bit. They gonna be perfect. Stick with your boy. All right, so here we go. Now that for that amount, I told y'all I had 10 pounds of chicken. I know normally somebody would buy like, like I told you, like one, um, one pack of chicken, which usually be like five pounds, especially dealing with chicken thighs. One pack used to be like five pounds, okay? But I have 10 pounds, all right? I got two two fat packs. And for that amount, this is what I'm gonna need. I suggest you use kosher salt, it's good. Only use three tablespoons of kosher salt for 10 pounds of chicken thighs. Yes, sir, going in. Now you're gonna need one fourth of a cup, one fourth of a cup of black pepper. Yes, sir. And like it's dominated, then no. The secret ingredient, one tablespoon of celery seed. Yes, sir. One tablespoon. All right. Now we're going to, okay, now we're going to do two tablespoons of the garlic and onion powder. That's like it's just mixed together. If you don't have this particular brand right here from Ross, the gourmet, and that's the lemon pepper that's coming next. If you don't have that, that's all right. Use your regular garlic and onion powder, one tablespoon each. So this is two tablespoons of that. Mm -hmm. And also two tablespoons of lemon pepper. Yes, sir. We're going in. No, I'm not going to put no cayenne on this one this time, all right? So we're going to go ahead and mix it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, we're going to make the, uh, we're going to put the, you know what? I'm going to put the mustard on there first, and then I'm going to put the seasoning on it. And we're going to mix it up real good, and then we're going to let it marinate, fam. We're going to let it marinate for at least an hour, all right? And while we're doing that, we're going to get the grill ready, okay? We get the grill ready, and then by the time they get through marinating, the grill be ready. And look, we're gonna put that thing on grill. I'm gonna show you how to make the best grill chicken thighs. Yes, sir. Stick with your boy. Yes, sir. So as you can see, see, this is why you don't need any cayenne pepper because you got enough black pepper and lemon pepper in it. It's still gonna be have that little spicy kick to it, but not so much where you just can't enjoy. Okay, so you don't need cayenne pepper for this. Okay, fam, so here we go. Yeah, as you can see, I got 10 pounds of chicken thighs with the skin on. Look at that. They're nice size, and definitely, you know I'm going to put some French's yellow mustard on it. Yes, sir, especially for this particular recipe. You're going to need one half a cup, one half a cup of French's yellow mustard. Just going to dump it on in there. 
and we're gonna go ahead with our clean hands and get it mixed up. I'm out of glove, fam, so you got to roll with it. All right, get in there and mix it up real good, okay? Make sure every meat has been touched. You're gonna love it, fam. One half a cup of French's yellow mustard because you're gonna marinate this chicken now after you put the other seasoning on it for one hour at least. At least one hour. You can, you can marinate this overnight, how long you want to, but at least for one hour, okay? All right, we're gonna mix this up real good, okay? Now we're gonna come with the seasoning. Yes, sir, that's our little mixture. We're gonna dump it all in there. We're gonna hit the, hit the sides, the edges, everywhere. We want every piece of meat touched, okay? We're not gonna, we're not gonna uh, stop mixing it. We're not gonna stop, mi stop mixing it until every piece is touched. Look at that, fam. Now that season real. Now you know I had to put some onions on this also. Got to marinate. We just look. I didn't need nothing but a half onion for this because I have the onion and garlic seasoning all over. Don't want too many onions. I want you to taste this, this uh, that flavor. Okay, that's my little concoction. My water, my garlic. I got garlic and onion in there mixed with water. That's it. Okay, there it is. The bold and smoky king's foot mesquite. That's the mesquite. Okay charcoal that's what i'm going to use today for this particular to see how i got the coals on one side yes yeah, sir so we're going to start off on the left side skin side down okay we're going to cook it for like 20 25 minutes skin side down then we're going to keep it skin side down and slide it over to the direct heat for another 10 to 15 minutes okay then after that we're going to flip it on the other side still on the direct heat okay and then we, it, the whole process took like uh, the cooking process. Only the cooking process took like an hour and a half. You got to make sure that the chicken is done all the way, but not burned. So as you can see, I'm adding the piece to the uh, left side first. Okay. We stacking and we packing. Put the rest of them onions on it. Yes, sir. Don't waste nothing. Now, right here, I'm showing you. You see how I got it in the heat? And make sure that on the side of the grill, you open the vents. That's what I'm doing right now, halfway. But the top of the grill, you keep those vents closed, okay? Then we'll move on from that. Look at that. It's, it's coming on pretty good, okay? So eventually, I'm going to get ready to slide the chicken over. All right, make sure you keep that grill from burning. Keep, that's why you keep your little bottle water on the side. I keep my little bottle seasoned water on the side because I don't want the flavor of the meat. Uh, uh, when I do put the water on the chicken, you don't want it to knock the seasoning off the meat. So you, off the meat, so you can season it with the same seasoning with water or a little salt. So when you when you um squirt the water onto the chicken to, to keep the fire down, you won't unseason the meat you want that meat still to have that flavor on it fam just don't put too much salt in that water you don't need that much because the chicken already seasoned as you can see it's on the other side now all right look at the process it's coming together that's that man right there mama yes yeah, sir mm-hmm i'm not playing with y'all today fam it's a nice little super bowl uh, uh um recipe that you can use um and i'm telling you it's it's easy i think it's the best way it's got to be the best way to grill chicken thighs. Mmm, mmm, mmm. OMG. Mama, there goes that man. Stick with your boy. Okay, fam, let's check the results. That's it coming. Oh, look at that. Let me put this fire right quick. Look at that. Look at that. 
see everything the integrity they're not done yet but look at the integrity of the meat yes sir i spread them out now of that direct heat and they just all you do is keep switching you see the ones on the left a little more done than the ones on the right because i just mixed it around that's all you have to do fam Ooh, we now i'm gonna keep moving them around until i like what i see in that i know that they are done okay i'm telling you it's a process we'll be back with the finished look and the finished plate okay fam so now after an hour and a half later yeah so let's check these grit that check this meat out these chicken thighs i'm telling you you're gonna like the look and you're gonna like the flavor and the taste i think this is the best way to grill chicken thighs yes sir and then especially for the super bowl come on fam oh mg look at that fam i think they're ready you ready i'm ready all right fam i'm finna let me take these off the grill and i'm gonna show you my finished look and my finished plate so hold on tight i'll be right back and there it is Ooh, look at that fam hey man i hope y'all enjoy this recipe stick with your boy and there's the finished plate yep that's all you need with a little potato salad in there too. Hey man, I hope y'all enjoy this one. I love y'all to life. G Rich out. In your mind.